Oh, Cal Hero. Even a wrestling god like myself gets sick every once in a while. Since you want to play luchador games, <laughs> I went and got a real one for you. Purely incidental, but a oh. roll-up goes for that brain buster. He's got, he's got a small package. Cal picked up the women's star on her immediately. Just live it. CDP of just taking a championship belt and smashing it into the face of Luscious Lawrence. Island time onto the moon! We are the tag team champions! Shalante has been calling herself the queen of OVW until just a couple weeks ago when Layla Gray showed up looking to regain that throne and that title. She got that championship. Oh, oh, oh right to the side of the head of Layla Gray! The ref didn't see a thing! I'm not in Louisville tonight. In fact, I'm not even in the United States. So. Jack, oh, oh my, my God! God. Oh my! Jet, right from Rocket just cheap shotted Doug Basham with that guitar. The time has come. Will Jesse Goddard finally get his comeuppance? Goddard has nowhere to run. He's got nowhere to hide. Oh. Kill shot! Goddard's Goddard's got those brass knuckles from Shane the Duke. Gun doesn't know he's got him. Oh! Gun right, right. to the temple. Are you freaking kidding me? Both men so popular with the OVW faithful. There's an electricity in this building, guys. Oh. Oh. Second rope, Samoan drop. Are you kidding me? We got him up. Sky high. Is that high? Sheer did it. Sheer be cash. Christmas chaos on Tuesday, December 13th. And folks, you're getting some presents early this year because guys, top to bottom tonight, one of the best cards we've seen in our OVW TV. You're absolutely right. It is stacked from top to bottom. We've got action. We've got spectacular. We've got spectacular. Wait, what? Hey, did, hey, production, did, did somebody hit something? Yeah, what? This? No, there they what? are. Why? Why are they coming out here? I don't... I have a feeling Pectacular might have something to say about the cage match, but they're not on They're not on our sheet. This is not why their allotted we, time. We why got do we even have a through. sheet? I swear. I don't understand what's going on or why they're out here right now. Oh, I, at least Revolver could put a shirt on. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to be in their presence. Don't get me wrong, especially Mr. Okay. Pectacular, but I, mean, I was about ready to talk. Me off. Guys, we saw at Thanksgiving Thunder, the Lumberjack match between Tony Gunn and Jesse Goddard breaking down into chaos. The Lumberjacks fighting each other. Goddard stealing a win with those brass snucks. Well, now a cage match made for Christmas chaos to make sure these two stay confined. The Lumberjacks couldn't cut it. The action spilled all over the arena. The next logical step had to be a steel cage. Now, folks, I know the Indiana Jones trailer just released, but don't get confused. That's not Indiana Jones on your screen. That's Mr. Spectacular no, in a silly hat. This guy's way sexier than Harrison Ford. Way sexier. Uh, okay. Take my word for it. I know sexy. I just wish we could put Mr. Spectacular in the museum, and then he wouldn't have to be here every week. You know, just last week, I could have sworn that I saw Jesse Goddard's Mr. Spectacular, the face that runs the place, beat Tony God one, two, three, right in the middle of this ring. You know, you know Jesse could have used the assistance of the lumberjack surrounding the ring. He could have, but you know what? He didn't. He did it all by himself. One, two, three, beat Tony Gunn like the scum that he is. And then. Fast forward to this week, and I see on social media of all places that there's a match, a rematch, between Jesse Gunners and Tony Gunn, but it's not just, it's a cage match. A cage match between Jesse Gunners and Tony Gunn. Totally unfair. I'm the manager here. I didn't sign that. I didn't sign that contract. I didn't make that match. You're, hey, I, you're just... 
He's just telling me this now? You're telling me? No, I didn't know. I've been celebrating. Did these people know? These people knew before I knew? I, He's not getting on social media. I gotta talk to somebody. No, he gets Me, on social media. We all know everything that this man just said was good all the way up until right there. I beat Tony single-handedly in the middle of this ring all by myself. That's yeah, debatable. It's, it's kind of true. Truish. But now you're telling me not only is there a rematch on Tuesday, December 13th in a cage, I don't wrestle in cages. No, no, no. Cages are for animals, for hairy things like Tony with the beard and the... It's not a Wait a second. I'll actually beat him inside the cage again. I'm actually, I feel sorry for Tony. Tony needed everybody else to try and beat me and he still didn't even beat me. But I need to have that official come out here because I don't want to do it. And they can't make me. You can't make the face that runs the place do anything. I run the place. Nobody can tell me anything because I run the place. Get out of here. Me, this guy. And there ain't nothing you, anybody can do about it or say. So it ain't happening. Do me. Oh, thank God. He was almost done. Nah, he's done now, because there's uh, the boss. There's Big Al Snow. Oh, no. It's the boss. Big Al has said just enough for Jesse Goddard and his Goddard's gang. Let me get this straight. No one can tell Jesse Goddard's what to do. <laughs> oh, Al, you're old. You didn't hear that right. Uh, Nobody yeah. What's that? He is old. I said, yeah, you're right. I'm old. I, I didn't quite hear that. Now you, I thought I heard you said no one can tell you what to to do. Well, see, what I, <laughs> listen. Hey, was that what he said? I'm sorry, was that what he said? Let me no, get that straight again. Let me, wait, 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 let me, let me cover that again one more time. You can't hear and they're stupid, so listen, don't listen to them, they all know. No one can tell Jesse Goddard's what to do. Thank you, we yeah. see eye to eye, finally, buddy old pal, yeah. buddy old pal. Well, I'm telling you, December 13th, Christmas yeah. Chaos. It'll uh, be you <laughs> versus Tony Gunn in an 18-foot-high steel cage. Merry Christmas. Joy Squanza. Everybody likes that, huh? Everybody. Do you, do you like, you look so smitten. You look uh, so happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. Oh, it's a good one. You know You're why? You're burner, aren't you? Well, with oh, the cage, Jesse. Yeah, the cage. People can't run away. And with the cage, other people can't get involved. So it turns out it'll just be you and Tony Gunn one-on-one -on -one without the involvement of Adam Revolver and without Shin and the Dude or other lumberjacks. It'll be man against man. And finally, we'll get to settle. Now, look, I know you seem aggravated. You seem consternated, uh, maybe even a little bit constipated. My body is a temple. I eat and I have perfectly good bowel movements. He's as regular okay. as they come. Well, let's help you work out some of that aggression. I'll tell you what. I'll set up a match for you tonight, but here's the thing. Oh, it, it's all for you. No! Yes, you came out I here. You were angry. Man. You were upset. I'm going to allow you to work out that aggression. No, I'm not upset. I'm winning. No. I'm winning. Well, you're going to win some more. Thank you. All okay, right, well. because I'm going to give you the chance to right or wrong because I'm going to put you against somebody who has a win on you. Never lost. You have, and this guy is the guy who beat you. And to make sure you two aren't going to be involved, if either one of you show up tonight in this arena and you're not here for a scheduled match, you will be fired immediately. What did they do? What Al did Snow you? laying down the law. It is so unfair. Hold on a second here, Al. You can't show I up hope in this they jacket looking like you just came from a date at Applebee's and you're going to order around this guy. <laughs> well, you would know you look like a waiter from Applebee's. Fun establishment. 
Oh, you're real funny. Let me tell you, Al, this guy, he's got an answer for everything. There's nothing you can throw at him. You can throw at him. You can throw at me because we have an answer for you, Al. Absolutely. Well, you'll have no problem tonight with your match. And since you're so involved, you can have a match, too. Hey, hey, hey. hey you can't put up in a match. He's not even ready. You're not, you haven't even stretched yet. You're not ready for a match. You can't do this. These you know are my what? clients. You don't get to come out here and make matches. Listen, that pump the brakes, Shannon. You're getting a little upset. You're getting your blood pressure. But help you to work that out. I'll make you his partner, and we'll make a tag match. What? Shannon, and the dude, have him over? I'll make a match for Tony Gunn, too, because I'm nothing if not fair. And again, let me reiterate, if Tony Gunn or any of you show up at anybody's match, you will be immediately and summarily fired from OVW. So, good luck, boys. I hope you work out your aggressions and have fun and get ready for December 13th at Christmas Chaos. And Jesse, you'll be in that cage. Thank you, guys. Al Snow handing out early holiday presents, fellas. Al Snow laying down the law in a rough night ahead for Goddard's and Co. Goddard's and Singles action. Dude in Revolver it's tag action. Cole in the stocking is what he's given us. It is so unfair. Adam Revolver, Shannon the Dude, Jesse Goddard's, they don't need to be in. America, home of the free. Free is our favorite word. Huh. Like free refills. We get it. <laughs> That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything unless we win your case. Injured? Call Morgan & Morgan. ForThePeople.com It's free! Johnson. I know you're all expecting a real professional wrestler to walk through that curtain tonight, but unfortunately it's just not going to happen. I'm not in Louisville tonight. In fact, I'm not even in the United States. So, Doug, I appreciate you having my back on this one. It's going to be you and Ryan Von Rocket one-on-one. -on -one. What? Jack Von oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Ryan Von Rocket just cheap shot it. Doug Bassett with that guitar. That was the OVW Money Move of the Week, sponsored by Gary C. Johnson. We go for the money, all of the money. The following contest is set for one fall and a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, Al Snow's hand picked opponent from Lynchburg, Tennessee, one half of Southern Discomfort, Jebediah Black. Hey guys. When you look at somebody like Jebediah Blackhawk, you call them a barroom brawler, not because they like to talk with their fists, because they fought a whole freaking bar full of people and walked out to tell the tale. Some people do wrestling training, some people do bar fights. Jebediah Blackhawk has done both. Shotgun Tony Gunn! And his opponent from Jonesboro, Arkansas. He is the Arkansas Imagine being in the mind of Shotgun Tony Gunn right now. The Arkansas Roughneck has spent months trying to get his hands on Jesse Goddard. Finally does last week at Thanksgiving Thunder, only to have that opportunity ripped away from him in the Ferry's Beans. Al Snow not giving Tony Gunn a break this week in there with one of the biggest and burliest fighters in all of professional wrestling in Jebediah Blackhawk. This well, may very well be a brawl, guys. Uh, 
Don't sleep on Jebediah Blackhawk. This man, over 20 years in the wrestling business, he's an OVW original from way back. Shared a locker room with the likes of John Cena, Brock Lesnar, Dave Batista, those guys. Jeb's been around. He's done it. He's seen it. He's got some tricks he might pull out of his bag tonight against Tony Gunn. You're absolutely right. Look at Tony the size seems to be, difference. Tony seems to be begging him, hit me in the face. I think Jeb will oblige him here. I think Jeb came out ready for a fight. No, he's in there against a former multi-time OVW heavyweight champion, but Tony Gunn. He's poking the bear. The drunk bear. Oh, oh boy. God. Oh, there it is. Slaps right to the face. Look at Jeb and I have Blackhawk now coming in with those clubbing blows. Jeb's with rights and shots to the back of Tony's head. But Gunn and literally. Gunn's, is he smirking? Gunn literally asked for it, Josh. He's getting what he asked Jeb for. And you hear Jeb yelling, he told me to hit him in the face. Well, he didn't ask to get choked with a boot, and that's exactly what's happening to Gunn right now. David I. Blackhawk working that classic big man style, clubbing blows, and you shove that foot in the throat when you get a He's chance. He's just beating the holy hell out of shotgun Tony Gunn right now, but I don't know if Tony Gunn, I, look at, I think he might be into it. Look I, at Gunn slapping his own I, face. I told you, Gunn was smirking. Gunn sometimes likes the pain, bit of a sadist in there. Sometimes it fuels him up, but guys, maybe that's what we're seeing. We're seeing Gunn heading into Christmas chaos. That makes you think about his mentality. I mean, is he, is he is he trying to hype himself up? Is he seeing what he can go through knowing a cage match is on the horizon? Like, what is on the mind of the Arkansas Roughneck? Vengeance. That's what's on the mind of the Arkansas Roughneck. He wants to get his hands on Jesse Goddard's inside that steel cage. Goddard's has done everything he can by hook or by crook to beat Tony Gunn down over the last few months. Yeah. I, he might have broken. He might have broken Tony Gunn mentally, guys. We might be seeing a new shotgun Tony Gunn. Somebody in there who, again, he seems to be enjoying the violence bestowed upon him by one half of Southern discomfort. Guys, I think in a way, the punishment reminds him of what he is fighting for. In a way, these, these clubbing blows motivate Tony Gunn to fire up. Oh. And you see, it's going to take a lot more than some clubbing blows to put away Tony Gunn, a man who knows a thing or two about beating up a whole ballroom full of people. Gun with those left arm clotheslines to Jeb in the corner. Oh, he's, not, he's not stopping. He's not unloading. He's emptying the clip. It's that Arkansas violence party and referee Daniel Spencer having to drag Tony Gunn off of him. Oh, Jeb and I Blackhawk sending Gunn up and over. Ooh, Gunn going to the middle section, cut the big man in half. Uh, he might have to have gone psychotic. Is that springboard knee? Tony might be psychotic to meet the very psychosis that is. Mr. Spectacular Jesse Goddard's. Psychosis? Oh, there we go. Kill shot. Gun hit him with a kill shot. Dropping the big man. That'll do her. Here is your winner, Shotgun Tony Gun. Tony Gun picking up a win and some momentum going into Christmas chaos on November 13th. That cage match. That member of Southern Discomfort, guys, looks very uncomfortable. Well, Tony Gunn calling for a microphone here. Two weeks, in just two weeks, December 13th, Goddard's and Gunn meet up face to face in a steel cage. Now I don't give a damn about a win. I sure as hell don't give a damn about a loss. This cuts deeper than that. Jesse Goddard, I know you're back there. I want to tell you this. Do what you need to do. You have two weeks to get yourself ready. Bring whatever you need to bring. Bring your chain. Bring your brass knuckles. Bring your beer bottle. Bring your taser. Bring the hell whatever you want to bring, Goddard. Because in two weeks, Goddard, I'm simply just bringing myself to kick your ass. <laughs> click, click, boom. Tony Gunn, strong words for Goddard, strong emotions, maybe just enough to plow through spectacular at Christmas Chaos.
when pain or an injury is keeping you from the game of life. We want to help you get back to your golf game, your yoga game, to the backyard games, the home games, back to the fun and games. Pro Rehab Physical Therapy, official physical therapy provider of Bellarmine Athletics and the trusted choice for keeping you in the game. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, the OVW Academy with Al Snow, the birthplace of legends including Batista, Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Apply now for our upcoming semester in the first quarter of 2022. Visit ovwacademy.com and apply now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. And Al Snow's hand-picked opponent. Introducing first, the team of Adam Revolver and the World Heavyweight Radio Champion, Shannon Futu. These two guys could have had the night off, but they came out here and yammed, ran their mouths, ran their mouths to Al Snow of all people, got themselves a tag team matchup. Adam Revolver is almost turning beet red, and with as pale as he and is, <laughs> Al Snow's hand-picked opponents <laughs> from Miami Beach, Florida, the team of Truth Magnum and Turbo Floyd, the Outrunners. As much as I love the Outrunners, this is not fair to Shannon, the dude, and Adam Revolver. Adam hasn't stretched. His quads are all tight. Steve, you're talking over the entrance of the Lambo duo, the Neon Nightmares. I'm going to go the, massage his thighs The for youngest tag team in all the professional stop. wrestling. You know, they trained Hackenschmidt. A lot of people don't know that. You know how they spin so well? because they yeah. train with Nancy Kerrigan. Yeah, Hackenschmidt would have been nothing without who, these guys. Who in the office did I make angry to get stuck with the two of you? I think it was Dean Hill. Nah, no shock there. Now, now guys, Adam Revolver, fresh off his shift at the line cook at the Applebee's, teaming up with Shannon the Dude, fresh off his uh, shift of being a stripper, uh, sorry, strip club floor. Teaming up to take on the Outers, former OVW Tag Did Team you see Champions. Some, oh, the a disrespect of the fans of Shannon the Dude. Well, I mean, they do call him Shannon the Douche on occasion for a reason. All right, so we got the Outrunners versus the Pale Dudes, guys. What a tag team matchup we got going here. And let's talk about the tail of the tape here. Two guys with great physiques, two guys with physiques. Well, one guy with a, a, a pretty good physique. But Adam Revolver, no slouch though, knows how to get it done in the ring. You see him taking the early advantage of the truth, Magnum Josh, a man that you've known for over a decade. Oh yeah, I've known Adam Revolver for over 12 years at this point. And this man, he's a multiple time triple crown champion. Look at both of these guys choking out Truth Magnum in the corner, cheating, and the referee, Jake Cloyd, breaking that it up here. brilliant tag team wrestling by Adam Revolver and Shannon the Dude. Goes to show you why Shannon the Dude has been radio heavyweight champion for so long. However, this might as well be a handicap uh, match on, because the outrunners, now look at this, just Turbo Floyd just choking Revolver but in the back. I gotta admit, the, the outrunners doing the choke behind the ref's back a little more successfully. It looks like they're a better team than Revolver and Dude who just... Seem a little well, off the same page. Again, Revolver hasn't been able to stretch. Boy, Shannon, the dude just making this worse for his partner. The, the Outrunner is helping Revolver stretch. Don't you worry about it, Steve. Now, Truth Magnum and Turbo Floyd got Revolver, the pale knight and, and pale armor, stuck in the corner here, isolating him. And not that Shannon, the dude's going to be much of a tag team partner. Much of a tag team partner, any type of tag team partner. If there's a strong wind, he might be able to run into somebody. Shot Adam. to the midsection, side headlock now by Truth Magnum. Now, guys, let's not take anything away from Revolver. While he might have a little rust on the pale body, he's a former OVW heavyweight champion. The man yeah. is one of the best ring veterans we've ever seen in OVW. Has great ring awareness, and he's sly. Oh, now look at this. Look at this. Shannon the Dude getting involved on the floor. Hey, and you know what? That's Shannon, Shannon the Dude and Adam Revolver have known each other so long. Such a well... Oh, oh, oh my. A little he turnabout cheated. is fair play. Come on, ref, he cheated. But the Outrunners oh. also know each other so well. Look at Truth sending Revolver to the outside. Oh, come on, Shannon, get in the ring. You're going to do something. What's Shannon going to do? 40 pounds soaking wet. Come on. <laughs> All he's doing is getting his partner beat up on the floor. 
Outrunner's hitting all the right moves at just the right time, whereas Revolver Cover. and Shannon the Dude. Oh, well, oh. hey, look, Shannon did something that was actually effective. Yeah, he, he made Turbo Floyd mad. Look at the look on Turbo's face. And guys, you got to think at this point, Revolver's wondering, should I have brought one of the other line cooks from Waffle House to be my partner instead of Shannon the Dude? Applebee's. Applebee's. Well, well, we're making assumptions here. Well, look, half price apps or not, Shannon the Dude is going to get smothered and covered if he doesn't get out of that ring. Turbo Floyd taking chase to him now. Shannon the Dude being the most active he's been in this look matchup, at how running quick away. He is. The agility of but Shannon the Dude. Look at Turbo just turn right back around, putting Revolver God. down, and right back in pursuit. Like Grease Lightning, Shannon the Dude. Like look Grease. Him fly. Oh, Greasy's right. Close line by Turbo, <laughs> and he's still chasing him. Shannon the Dude better watch out. He's going to blow himself up running around the ring like that, sucking the wind out of the whole arena. And look at this. There's Turbo still in pursuit of Shannon the Dude. And the Dude finally back in his corner. I think. He just he tagged. Tag in? Yeah, you're damn he right just, he did. He's the hero of this match. I don't think he knew what he was doing there, guys. I think he was just trying to cheer on Adam. I think he's a little winded from that little jog he took. Oh, hang on a second. Adam Revolver just put a pair of brass knuckles on. Uh, referee, though. <laughs> I don't see any brass knuckles. Uh, my, my, my monitor's going out again. Revolver monitor's this. going out. You're the same monitor I... Are they monkey in the middle end with this are brass they? knucks? Well, Jake Cloyd does kind of look like a... Like a... Like a what are date. they? Like a monkey oh, in the oh, oh, no. You see Adam trying to say Turbo has a weapon now. What is happening? I... And look, Jake Cloyd just so confused. Trying his best to keep up here. Oh, and he finally, finally caught him. Jake Cloyd catching and revolver with the knucks. I've never seen and one maneuvers done with brass knucks before, but here we are. But now Shannon, hold on, Shannon the dude up. Come on. R referee Jake Cloyd waving it off. Bring it up the oh. oh! Jake Cloyd didn't see the low blow. Shannon drop it down on Turbo. Oh. Right to Turbo's Are you points. kidding me? Are you kidding me? Here are your winners, Adam Revolver and Shannon the Dude. You know what they say, he who cheats last, cheats best. But they just beat the Outrunners. I was driving home from practice, about to be a free agent, hopefully signing another multi-year deal in the NBA. And I remember seeing this car coming right towards me and a huge loud noise. I knew with my injuries that I wasn't going to be able to play. Instead, I'm in the hospital looking at all these permanent injuries that I suffered. Having my career cut short by a drunk driver was the worst part of my life. And I never thought I'd retire at 31 years old. I knew if there was, you know, one firm to get me justice and to get me compensated for that, it was going to be Morgan & Morgan. It's crazy because basketball was always there for me. When something like this happened, they weren't and Morgan & Morgan was. Morgan & Morgan has definitely really helped me in the toughest, darkest moments of my life. Those guys were there for me and I'll never forget that. And Morgan & Morgan are unbelievable what they do. They're sharp, they're smart, they're professional. They'll do what's right for you. I'm Chandler Parsons and I chose Morgan & Morgan.
championship match right now. Shalonze Royale. Haley J can't even get to her feet. Can't even, I don't even know if she knows she's in the ring right now, guys. Shalonze, the fighting champion, insisting that this match continues, and good for her. Are you serious? Absolute cowardice from Shalonze picking the bones of a Haley J, a blinded Hollywood Haley J, begging for, begging for water. Cornish trying to get water in her eyes, but even Haley flailing got it in her own face. Trying to do whatever she can to get whatever that fluid was out of her eyes, but I don't know if it's working. It might be too late. Haley in trouble here, guys. With a cheap shot there from Shalance. Oh, you guys, you guys, it's like a like a chemical-y type smell out here at ringside. It's like a sulfur mixed with tangerines. Just absolutely, you can just imagine how that must feel in your eye sockets. And then to have that in your ears. And then we have Shalance serenading referee Jay Cloyd. Haley Jay still trying to clear out her eyes here. And Shalon the, bell, the ref ringing the bell, are you kidding me? Are you out of your freaking mind? She can't even see. Shalon I mean, the bell's been called for. Boom, Come on, right. ref, count it. Are you out of your mind? This isn't a matchup, this is a farce. Yeah, real proud of yourself, Shalon. It's a great freaking work. Are you kidding me? Valiant effort by the champion. Are you at? Stupider than the shirt. <laughs> Haley J can't even get to her feet, can't even see. She might need serious medical attention. Shalonte stealing the win here. Maybe you want to call it that. Oh, what is she? She got AJ McKay demanding. He gets on her, his knees. Her floor director. What, what is he doing? Thank Getting you. on his knees. Is she on? Oh, yes, I hear myself perfectly. No, stay. I want you to bow. Bow. She doesn't have a mic holder now. She just wants him to bow. The queen. He can't do much more. He's going to hurt himself. Okay. You hear Haley J. Some dignity, man. Yes, I need you all to bow before me. You know you love me. Yes, I hear the applause. I need more applause. Come on. I love the holiday season, but she's gonna make me say it, guys. You're not supposed to say this word on TV, but I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it real loud. Say it. Bah humbug. Bah humbug, you shall not say. Good job, Brad, being on your knees. Oh, never mind. You're just short. Bah humbug to you, I don't know what's sadder. AJ's still in the ring. Shalante thinking you people want to hear this. You me. clapping like an what idiot. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Like music to my ears. Or you can sing my song. Come on. Come on. It is music going in your ears. That's literally what it is. Shalante Royale stealing the win here. But guys, Haley Jenkins checked on by the medical professionals in the back. After that viscous fluid spit in her face from Shauna Reed, guys, the witch of the fallen clearly has Hollywood Haley J in her wicked sights. America, home of the free. Free is our favorite word. Huh. Like free refills. We get it. <laughs> That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything unless we win your case. Injured? Call Morgan & Morgan. Forthepeople.com. It's free!
Welcome back to OVW Live. And guys, we're on the way to Christmas Chaos on Tuesday, December 13th. And guys, two huge main events already oh, the, announced. The chaos has already started tonight, but at Christmas Chaos, inside of a steel cage, Mr. Spectacular, one more time, maybe for the last time, against Shotgun Tony Gunn. But Josh, that is far from it. Far from all. Let's talk about the lion in the room, Mahabali Shira, the OVW heavyweight champion, will face cash flow for the OVW national heavyweight championship Tuesday night, December the 13th at Christmas Chaos. Folks, two huge matches already made, and actually we're gonna hear what's on the mind of the Indian Lion just a little bit later tonight, but first, we got more action before we get there, and there's only one man who can take us down that holly jolly ride. Eric, my man, tell him who's fighting. Well, Brian, I will, as I find out just as you will with this contest scheduled for one fall and a 20-minute time limit. First, Al Snow's hand-picked opponent. Face to face with one of the greats. Ladies and gentlemen, first from Dallas, Texas, Anthony Contina. Does Anthony freaking Katina, a man who's been absolutely blowing up the OVW scene, a man who holds a victory over Jesse Goddard's Anthony Katina, a third generation star. A rare feat to hold a victory over Mr. Spectacular. Anthony Katina can claim that very fact, but can he do it again here tonight as Al Snow's hand picked opponent against Jesse Goddard? And Josh, what a Jesse Goddard's. Jesse Goddard's. He interrupted you again. Jesse Goddard. Jesse Goddard. And his opponent from Hollywood, California, Mr. Spectacular, Jesse Goddard. Revolver, flanked by Shannon the Dude, but by Creed of Al Snow, Jesse Goddard's going it alone here tonight against the man who last beat him, Anthony Katina. I think that's the frustrating thing about Jesse Goddard, Josh. The fact that he's a fantastic competitor. He's got a body like a Greek freaking god. Finally. But he has to have near do wells like Adam Revolver, Shannon the Dude in his corner to compete, to try to win when he's got all the skills in the world. A referee calling for the bell. Anthony Katina turning his back on Jesse. Good God! Cut in half with a spear as Katina! Speared upside down and inside out goes Anthony Katina. Jesse Goddard means business. We've seen Goddard's win and retain championships with that very same spear. Now sending Katina to the outside immediately. Katina maybe a little too braggadocious for his own good. Bear with me for this brief intermission. Tony. You're trying to be the man, I am the man. You have a face, I am the face. You hide behind your beard, I don't need a beard. You impersonate a person with a family because you're a husband, you're not. Nobody here believes in you, not one person. Listen, they're cheering for me, not for you. If you think for a second I'm scared of you, no, 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 you're trapped inside that cage with me. I can promise you that. This isn't my first rodeo, and between the both of us, only one of us have actually held the National OVW Heavyweight Championship, and that's me, not you. After I make short work of him, I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna spend the rest of my time talking to you because that's all I really care about is breaking not only your body, but your mind too, because you're a joke. You think this is funny? This is my life. I exceed and excel in everything that I do. You don't. You rode my coattails. Don't ever forget it. God, are serious. Just a murder. Because on December delivery. 13th, all these fans that believed in you will have their spirits crushed just in time for the holidays. 
You see, you see Katina has rolled himself back into the ring here. The match continues. The God are so focused on gun, Josh hasn't even noted, even acknowledged that Katina's back in the ring. Oh, hold on. Katina kicks out. You know, Goddard's just showing immense disrespect to Anthony Katina, but oh God. Vicious right hands, just the, murderous right hands. The disrespect continues. Jesse Goddard's wanting to send a message to Tony Gunn quite literally. Oh, oh hold on. Katina had a big opportunity there. Katina nearly had him once again. He, you know, and Jesse Goddard's talked himself into this position, coming out here, running his mouth, stating that no one can make him do anything he doesn't want to do. Uh, hold on. Katina doesn't want to do that, but Goddard's is making him. Sends oh, him to oh, the oh, outside. Oh. Good God. Now, guys, let's remember, Katina is out here because he has a win over Goddard's via countout weeks he ago. Had a win over Goddard's. I don't know if he's even going to be able to move, let alone continue this match. It's to Anthony Katina. Jesse Goddard showing immense strength, just, just military pressing. Katina over the top rope and down to the now, floor. Now, Josh, as a former leader of the LOB, you've been there a handful of times and your mouth's got you in a little bit of trouble. Goddard's got himself in this matchup, got himself in this position. I mean, does that have some sort of where you need to prove uh, that you can handle I don't think he deserved it? all this. I don't know. I mean, that's the thing. Goddard's can back it up, but Katina, Ooh. hang on. Katina back up to his feet, taking the fight to Goddard's. And guys, Katina's no slouch, and he oh, knows the opportunity in front of him right now. Former National Heavyweight Champion in there. Trying to suplex Jesse Goddard's to the outside of the ring is Anthony Katina. Oh, Katina up and over, though. Reverse along Goddard's. Oh! Hot shots him down across that top rope. Goddard's throat going right into that top cable. Beautiful agility from Katina. Uses it to perfection here to get an advantage. Oh, look at that! Springboard sunset off the second. Nearly had Jesse Goddard's again. Two and a half, guys. Katina's an absolute live wire. Beautiful neck breaker there. Katina's showing you what he's got, showing you that potential, showing you that second generation stardom. Well, you can see why Al Snow picked him as that opponent for Jesse Goddard's elbow. huge elbow. That might be it right there. Got. Goddard's foot on that bottom rope, guys. Great positioning, great ring awareness. Brilliant veteran presence by Jesse Goddard's former OVW National Heavyweight Champion. Right in the nick of time, gets his foot on the ropes, and then a well-placed thumb to the throat, and oh. another spear! Second spear out of Goddard's, takes down Katina. That's it. Here is your winner, Jesse! Goddard. Katina got a win weeks ago with a count out, but Goddard's emphatic win with that pinfall victory over Katina, obviously sending a message to Tony Gunn. You won! Get out of here! You're a joke, Tony, and me, the great one. Mr. Spectacular in all his glory is bringing those presents back December 13th in a cage. I will break you. All those words. Look in the mirror and know the real facts. I'm not afraid of you, Tony. I don't need anybody. I'm successful on my own. And you're gonna feel it. I promise you that. Goddard is laying down his intentions bare. He is not afraid of Tony Gunn going into Christmas chaos, going into their cage match. The level of intensity that these two men have shown tonight, the level of hatred they have for one another will all boil over December 13th, Christmas chaos. When pain or an injury is keeping you from the game of life, we want to help you get back to your golf game, your yoga game, to the backyard games, the home game. Back to the fun and games. Pro Rehab Physical Therapy. Official physical therapy provider of Bellarmine Athletics and the trusted choice for keeping you in the game. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, the OVW Academy with Al Snow. 
the birthplace of legends including Batista, Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Apply now for our upcoming semester in the first quarter of 2022. Visit ovwacademy.com and apply now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the fallout from Thanksgiving Thunder, just a week and a half removed. And in that fallout, we have a new OVW heavyweight champion. So it is my absolute pride to bring out to you right now, the Indian Lion, Mahabali Shira. the newly crowned OVW heavyweight champion Mahabali Shira, who has a few words to say about his intentions moving forward here in OVW. Well, Mahabali Shira has been on a hunt to get back the OVW National Heavyweight Championship. He's taken one step closer to it by taking the OVW heavyweight title from Cash Flow just a couple, not that long ago at, at Thanksgiving Thunder. You're absolutely right. Focus, laser yeah, focus, Mahabali Shira. Thank you so much for being here. Ladies and gentlemen, Mahabali Shira. Well, champ, I think they've heard of you. First and foremost, congratulations on your big championship win, your first OVW Heavyweight Championship win. Thank you so much, and thank you all of you for being behind me and supporting me all the time. I really appreciate it all. Now, I gotta ask you, going into it, Shira, you guys, two absolute kaijus battling out at Thanksgiving Thunder. What was your mindset going into Thanksgiving Thunder and challenging cash flow for the OVW Heavyweight Championship? Like I said before, when I returned back into this my jungle, I said that I'm gonna do what I have to do I, am, I came back, different mindset, different man, different lion. I all bring all the aggression because I lost something was important to me and I'm gonna take everything was belong to me. And that's why I am the become first ever Indian OVW heavyweight champion and standing tall right off here. Sure, you're a man of your word. You said you were gonna come in and take care of business. You came in and took care of business, but then right afterwards, went ahead and cashed in your opportunity to challenge for the OVW National Heavyweight Championship. What mean, why no waiting? Why no, no rest at all? Why go straight for the National Heavyweight Championship? Why challenge cash flow at Christmas Chaos? Hungry lion don't wait for anything. I've been waiting for three months with the roller coaster of my life. I was waiting sooner done here, and then I'm gonna attack all I need. So cash flow was just here, was taking a place. I was not here, but now I'm back, so I'm gonna take what. Cash is king. Mahabali Shira with some pretty inflammatory statements and cash flows, not just gonna sit back and take it. I don't care what you tell these people. I don't care what you tell yourself at night to make yourself feel good. You come out here, you claim to be a man. If you're a man and you got something to say, won't you say it to my face? You were just taking that place. I'm here for the reason I did what I said, and I'm gonna take everything what I say. You're gonna take everything, Shira. I don't take anything away from you. You know what? You pinned my shoulders to this mat last week. You did it, good job. Pat yourself on the back, that's one. What you have to do now is beat me twice. And you can claim to be the king of the jungle. From where I see it, you're nothing but George of the jungle. I don't know which language he's understand. 
Man, I can speak a multi of language. You can only speak English. Let me explain you one more time. Maybe you not understand. So, you had your time. Now it's my time. You've been the champ. I take from you the OVW heavyweight champion. And now I'm going to take this national heavyweight title from you. Also, listen. You've been playing with the game, but I playing the hunting. So lion, not gonna lose. I'm gonna take the title from you, mark my mud, and also you should not play with me. You should go home, play with your kids, because you not gonna talk. Oh no, you don't bring Cash's family hey, into this. Guys, come on, can we get some security out of here, please? Let me come by all. Come on, Brian, guys, get in the middle, on, break these guys up. I know you can do it. Strong words come by on, both on, men. On, Shira made a mistake there. Cash Flow, a fiercely protective father and family man. Shira's lighting a fire under Cash that I don't think he's going to want to light, Steve. I've seen Cash Flow pissed off, and right now Cash Flow is livid. Usually an even keel guy, pretty cool headed, even though he's a monster in the ring. But you do not mention the man's children. Shira might have gone too far there. These guys want to. These guys want to beat each other within an inch of your lives. To, we to might not have to wait till Christmas chaos. To hell with Christmas chaos. Let's go tonight. Cash flow showing incredible restraint. I think we're going to get need more people out here, guys. I don't know if this is going to be enough to keep these two separated. Referees, backstage officials, Brian Kennison. These guys are fixing to tear each other apart. 